Good morning, friends and neighbors and loved ones. This is Steve Sparks with part two, Froggy, the Christmas Spirit, home for the holidays. Please go to my website, survivethriveptsd.org. That's survivethriveptsd.org. And read part one to catch up. I want to give you a quote from part one. Froggy felt he was home, no longer scared and lonely. G.I. Joe Bear felt the same. They both talked with hope and joy for a better future. Algy Bear helped Froggy find a new home with loving foster parents who took him in for good. He was so sad to say goodbye to his pal, G.I. Joe Bear. L.G. Bear found G.I. Joe Bear a veteran's home in Lebanon, south of Portland. G.I. Joe Bear would find a caring home and health care for his wounds from war. Froggy was loved again and finally home. So let's go to Froggy's new foster home in Depot Harbor. So on Christmas Day, LG Bear took Froggy for a short drive north on 101 to the little coastal town of Depot Harbor. Froggy's new foster parents were Kathy and Matt Biggs, who were also lifelong residents of Depot Harbor. Algie Bear gave Froggy the amazing story of Depot Harbor. Great fishing, pirates, rum runners, and more. As they drove north past Beverly Beach and over Cape Fowlweather. Even Sir Francis Drake visited Depot Harbor way back in the 17th century when greeted by curious, fearful, indigenous folks. L.G. Bear would say proudly, Native American traditions and heritage have a strong influence on the Central Oregon coast. So Froggy met his new foster parents, Kathy and Matt Biggs, at the Newport shelter for homeless children the night before. But Froggy couldn't understand why anybody would want him I'm so ugly, he thought sadly. Algy Bear hugged him when they stopped for a look at the scenic turnoff at Otter Crest. Such a beautiful rainforest view on the coast and a beautiful, beautiful ocean. Froggy felt really good vibes when he visited his new foster parents but was worried that all of this was a dream. Maybe I'm in heaven, Froggy wondered. Then Froggy was startled as they approached the bridge to the small fishing village of Depot Harbor. The smallest harbor in the world, Algy Bear yelled out with excitement as they crossed the bridge into town. Can I go swimming in the pond? Froggy asked with a curious look. No, not today, L.G. Bear would say with a kind smile. Froggy finally arrived at his new home in Depot Harbor. He loved being close to the waterfront. Think I could go hang out here, Froggy croaked? Yes. But you need to stay on the seawall and not the walkway, Elsie Bear warned him with a serious look. A winter storm was raging with big waves splashing over the seawall. Froggy loved the spray and wanted to jump out. You'll get blown away, Elsie Bear cautioned as they made a right turn on Collins Street. His new foster parents. Cassie and Matt Biggs lived up Collins Street a block or so. It was across the street from the Chowder Place in Brew Pub. 
The Chowder Place and Brew Pub is known for its secret chowder recipe, celebrated and sold coast to coast, south and north, all over America. Little Whale Cove Cream Ale is my favorite brew, L.T. Bear remarked. But you'll have to wait for that, she added. Froggy looked at her and thought about root beer. Do they have root beer with ice cream? Froggy asked with excitement and anticipation. The chowder place and brew pub is the best, LG Bear remarked as they crossed the bridge into town. And a root beer float is a favorite too, she further explained. LG Bear also picked Depot Harbor for Froggy because he could attend the local middle school in after-school programs in the same town. He would soon learn about school and make new friends. Froggy couldn't wait. Kathy Biggs grew up in Depot Harbor. Her father, Mark Kramer, was a charter boat captain and owner of Kramer Charters. Depot Harbor was a famous fishing village. Folks came from all over the globe to fish and enjoy the beauty of the Oregon coast. It was also the home of the U.S. Coast Guard's finest. The Kramer family helped dredge the shallow harbor back in the day. The fishing fleet and tourist business was the town's legacy. Some of the best ling cod, snapper, salmon, and halibut came from the central Oregon coast. Depot Harbor is the go-to spot, Algy Bear would say, pointing her finger at the fishing boats in the tiny harbor. Froggy still thought the pond would be a good place to hang out. He wanted to learn more about the harbor, charter boats, and go for a swim. Kathy's brothers, Liam and Paul, along with her pop, Mark, ran the charter business while Kathy managed all the financials. Kathy was also Depot Harbor's elected mayor. The Kramer family had a long tradition of community service. Kathy and Matt continued this legacy, but they could not have kids. Froggy would be their first child. LG Bear told me a whole lot about Depot Harbor, Froggy thought with appreciation while they pulled up to the house. Kathy and Matt welcomed Froggy with love and kindness he never felt before. Tears flowed from his eyes when Kathy hugged him first, then Matt. Matt was a cool dude, too, Froggy thought with love and hope, shining through his wide, wrinkled smile. Froggy instantly saw the beautiful Christmas tree, decorated with blinking red, white, and blue lights. There were presents wrapped with red bows that looked like hearts, too. Froggy also saw the baby Jesus and Joseph and Mary under the tree. The three wise men were watching as the baby Jesus was held closely by his mom, swaddled in cloth. Froggy missed Santa a lot, but his new home felt like a dream come true. He knew Santa would return again next year like he does every year, no matter what. Thank you, thank you, Froggy, screamed with joy. He was so happy to be home for Christmas. Froggy never felt this way before, except with Santa, LG Bear, and G.I. Joe Bear. Maybe this would be home Forever, Froggy thought with a big smile and grin. Froggy was finally home. He hugged Algy Bear and thanked her for saving his life. Algy Bear then left to celebrate Christmas with her family in Newport. 
Merry Christmas, everybody. LG Bear waved as she drove off. This would not be the last time Froggy would see LG Bear. This was just the beginning of a long friendship with Froggy, the Christmas spirit in LG Bear. So Merry Christmas, everybody. This is Steve Sparks signing off. Be safe. Take care.